Good evening. We at Front Page would like to start by thanking you for all your support and would request you to continue to show your confidence in us by liking, sharing and subscribing. On Front Page, we speak about Amravati. We talk about Vizag. We discuss the capital city headlines. But tonight, well, we are talk, taking you actually to a place most people only see as a blur on a highway map. Welcome to Nellore. Now that we are here, let me tell you why. Because a massive piece of India's future has arrived right here. And trust me, it is huge. So if you're ready, let us walk you through Nellore. Tata Power. Renewable energy has made a huge impact worth 6,675 crore rupees. They are building a 10 gigawatt ingot wafer manufacturing plant. You know what? I enjoyed the ring of that. So I will say that again. 10 gigawatts. And when this behemoth goes online, it will be the largest ingot wafer facility in India. But before we move deeper, I have a request. Please stop scrolling for a second, just a second. I maybe know what you're thinking. You're thinking ingots, wafers. Why do I care? Well, because here is the narrative war nobody tells you about. For years, India has been building solar parks. Amazing, but... The guts of those solar panels, well, the wafers, the cells, they all come from China. It is like, well, importing the bricks to build one's own house. And with this initiative, Tata Power is trying to change that narrative. They are actually setting up shop in the IFCO Kisan Special Economic Zone. 200 acres, 120 for now, 80 for later. And of course, creating 1,000 direct jobs. It's powered by a 200 megawatt captive green power plant. So, we have a green factory making green technology powered by green energy. It's inception, but for infrastructure. But of course, an important question comes to mind. Why Nellore? Why Andhra? Is it just blind luck? The answer is no, not at all. And here is the reason why. Nellore, well, Renew Photovoltaics, they are based in Annakapalli with India's first 6 gigawatt integrated plant. Then we have Indichip and Yutioa from Japan. They are investing 14,000 crore rupees for a semiconductor fab in Kumul. Then of course we come to Reliance and Google, twin 1 gigawatt AI data centers. And of course, Remember Hue Song? Yes, the South Korean giant that shifted a 1720 crore rupees footwear project from Tamil Nadu to Andhra? That wasn't an accident either. The differentiator here is speed. The Andhra, uh, Andhra government is basically telling the world, which is, you have the cash, we have the wherewithal, and we won't make you wait. Now, let us look at the bigger picture. And when we do, well, we realize that this is not a celebration of Andhra alone, but of the India tech stack. When we talk about AI, we talk about NVIDIA. We talk about the India AI mission and those 40,000 GPUs. But AI doesn't run on magic. Really? No. It runs on compute. And compute functions on chips and chips run on wafers. So what the government is really trying to do here is, is to control the whole chain from raw materials all the way to advanced chips, design, manufacturing, even packaging. You can already see what that looks like on the ground. Tata Power's facility in Nellore is a good example. It feeds the solar grid, it supports power electronics and it helps keep the grid stable. The same grid that keeps your phone, well, connected and your EV charging. We, of course, had done an extensive piece on this earlier right here on front page. We mentioned that Andhra Pradesh is trying to become the Japan of India. 
discipline exports clusters and chandra babu naidu seems to be well playing chess in 4d while others are still struggling with checkers he is actually locking in energy electronics ai quantum it's a coherent strategy create the power build the chips to manage the power build the data centers that use the chips close the loop and well no need to say checkmate because the game is not over till india wins and of course in conclusion here is the front page take well the scoreboard after tonight looks like this 6675 crore rupees on the table 10 gigawatts of capacity 1000 jobs for the youth 200 acres of prime industrial real estate is it a done deal the question begs construction is hard execution is harder but the money is committed and most importantly the narrative has shifted also if you want to understand how india fights the import war against china don't look at the politicians in delhi no that's a waste of time look at the excavators in nellore that ladies and gentlemen is the stark reality this is andhra pradesh locking in its role as the motherboard of india so point is what do you think is this the industrial revolution we've all been waiting for or is it just another mou headline if you're from andhra or you just are a fan of seeing something being built please do let us know what you think in the comments below this is front page by aim network like share subscribe and always remember think ai think andhra pradesh think aim Thank you.